We picked him up and took him into our bathroom. He was so hungry, he kept eating and eating, and he couldn't get enough food. He was in really bad shape. Yeah, that good boy. He spent most of the time in the litter box where he felt most comfortable. So comfy. He would only get out to eat and drink. We tried to comb some of his fur, but it was so matted that we ended up having to shave it off. After we shaved it, it was evident how much more comfortable that he was. He was finally able to get out of his litter box. Of course, he kept eating and eating. Who knows how long it was since he had a proper meal if he ever had one. After taking him to the vet and getting a clean bill of health, we moved him into our bedroom. Otto was friendly since day one. He never hissed, bit, or scratched at us. He would let us touch him and pet him. But at first, he would never come to us or seek out this attention himself. I tried to go into our room and spend as much time as I could with him to make him feel safer and to warm up to us. When one of our other cats, Dean, started putting her paws under the door to play and was curious, we decided that it was safe enough to open up the bedroom door and let him explore our living room. When he first got out into the living room, he was nervous. but he quickly became our couch king. He has a cat bed on our couch and he lays there most of the time relaxing and sleeping. Over time, he started stepping out and laying next to me. Eventually, he started to get closer and closer and give me these little kisses on my legs and hands. And now, when I step out of my bedroom in the morning, he meows to call me over, and that's the way that he demands attention and cuddles. <coughs> Seeing how far Otto's come since the day he showed up at our door is so inspiring, from where we didn't understand if he would even make it, and seeing him now as a cuddle bug is so amazing. <coughs>